the current uh, secretary was reinstated again. Speaking to MTV News, Mr. Becker says his interest over the piece of land started in 2010. With proper papers submitted to the land's department, Mr. Becker says rezoning of the land began in 2012. While he completed proper documents and dialogue with the land's department, his request was whittled for unknown reasons. And here I'm denied my right to get a title, which is injustice. And I have suffered spend a lot of money and resources and still fighting to get a title. Well, people who are doing corrupt activities are easy to get a title. And people who are in authority are protecting that title that they have issued fraudulently. Mr. Packer runs a logistic company. Since battling this case in court, his business has suffered. While he was waiting the issuing of the land title, the current land secretary issued another land title and alleged to have colluded with a church organization over the land. He says this has shown the corrupt practices in the land's department. So that's a second title with this land. Remember, this land does not exist. It's already been rezoned. And he is issuing these titles after it has already been rezoned sub rezoned and subdivided and he is issuing these fake titles to a land that does not exist mr packer has reported the matter to the land's fraud office and police he says investigation is progressed but no arrest has been made he is calling on the land's minister john rosso to intervene because if i am suffering i believe some people are also going to the same and i've learned from the office that there's so many complaints about him, secretary, current secretary. Which are all under investigation. So if he is doing that to me, I believe some other Papua New Guineans are going through the same process. Meanwhile, Minister Rosso has made an appointment to see Mr. Packer next week. Jack Lapawa Jr., National MTV News.